Diana and I recently went to Turks and Caicos for a vacation and at the same time I tested out the Tamron 17 to 28 did a couple photo shoots with it for like a silhouette lift your chin up a little lift your chin just a tad right there but first let me show you some video footage using the Tamron 17 to 28 paired up with my Sony a7 III 4k 20 frames per second all footage is handheld and no picture profiles were used sexy <laughs> what happened? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be sexy here. It's not working. <laughs> Pretty. The water's like. It's so hard to describe. I know. My the water is. alone is just worth it. It's the trip. super clear. I've never seen water that turquoise. It's so that, pretty. Is it my sunglasses or? No. No, it's actually. It's so le pretty. It's legit. I promised you someone did see a shark, but I don't know if it was one that bites or anything. As we were headed to the beach for the golden hour photo shoot, I ran into this area that I really like the composition. I shot these images at 17 millimeters. Closer to your, I'm getting a peak of sun. Here you go. What's going on everybody? Golden Hour Portraits with the 17 to 28 Tamron 2.8. We got a nice golden, nice golden light coming in. So some wide angle portraits. Went to you live from Not live, but. <laughs> oh, you Shooting at a 17 millimeter right now. Ooh, it's under a flash. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh. That guy right there, both of them, they tag team against my foot. Wanna come here, babe? Come here. What I'm gonna do is, as the water comes up onto the beach, I'm gonna get that at the bottom of the frame. Right there, right there. Good. Right about... Right there, sit just like that, sit just like that. Almost break. Look guys, Maddie Peters pants. <laughs> I think with these wide angle lenses, if, as long as you keep the subject in the middle, you can get away with shooting wide. But you just gotta make sure you have a beautiful beautiful scene or else you're just wasting a lot of space, you know? And here we got a lot of clouds and a lot of texture in the sky. So it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> More exercise. It's just not, you know, we're gonna just go on for the cool beach effect. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but. So I'm getting more like a silhouette. Go ahead. Um, yep, just like that. Lift your chin up a little. Lift your chin just a tad right there. Good. Good. Come a little bit, in, um, come closer to me just so I can get more of your figure instead of just like water right there. Right there. Do the same thing. Face exactly straight that way. Okay, here we go. One, two. Perfect. So my viewfinder, she looks a little dark, but that's fine because I can easily recover her. Do this. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna place the sun like right between your arms, okay? With your back arm. Oh, the sun's behind the clouds. Right there. Right there. Okay, here we go. One, two. One under and one over. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that. But turn more to your side this way. So it like. Yep, just like that. Just like that. One, two, three. Yeah. So I'm trying to get the when the water splashes you. Right. Right. Hold on. Wait for the water to splash you again. Hold on. Got it. Yeah. 
If you have been in the market for a wide angle or super wide angle lens like the Sony 16 to 35 GM lens, which is $2,200, which is why I don't own one right now, the Tamron 1720, you gotta take a good look at this lens. Um, I usually rent my gear through b &H. This lens I just outright purchased it. I pre-ordered it just like everyone else and purchased it because I've been needing a lens like this in my kit. Think about it, not only for photos, but for video, like throwing this lens on a gimbal, having that um, super wide angle, but not spending over $2,000 for a lens. I mean, you can purchase the 17 to 28 Tamron and the 28-75 and still have coffee money for a couple months. And it's still cheaper than just one 16 and 35 GM lens. So um, I take a good look at it. The, the, the pictures came out really sharp. The video came out super crispy. I'm so impressed with this lens and I'm so glad I have it in my kit. It pairs up really nice with the Sony a7 III. It's compact, it's small, it's lightweight. It's still got a weather sealing gasket here on uh, on the lens. Um, it's obviously, it's a little plasticky. Not a big deal if you use the Tamron 2075. It's the same kind of build quality. It's actually the same kind of image quality, which is a good thing. I mean, the image quality out of the 2075 is really good. Nothing extends out of the lens. So you can put a filter on here, a 67 millimeter filter. Um, I personally just absolutely love this lens and recommend anyone out there that's looking to get a wide angle lens, uh, super wide, to get the Tamron 17 to 28. Um, stay tuned for more photography content. I'll see you in the next one.